begin seated in a simple cross-leg position. If you have tight hips, you may choose to sit on a folded blanket. In this section, we will set a rhythmically paced, comfortable breath that will support you for the rest of the practice and energize you throughout the day. Place the hands behind you. Inhale, fill your body with breath as you lift the chest. Always exhale through the nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, palms to knees. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold from the hip. Walk the hands out to a comfortable position. Breathe into the back body. If your hips are tight, do a modified version with Veronica to avoid back strain. As your flexibility develops, walk slightly farther forward and use the arms for support as shown by Merrily. Exhale, walk back. Center yourself. Inhale into your body. Exhale, twist comfortably to the right. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Twist as you exhale. Think of your tailbone sinking into the earth as the spine elongates skyward. Expand the torso evenly with each inhalation. Turn to center. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist left. Feel a connection between body and breath. Feel the sensation of breath as you lengthen the spine. Allow the exhalation to gently move you into and out of the twist. Place the left leg in front. Hands behind. Inhale, lift the chest. Soften the abdomen. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands to knees. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hinge from the hip. Walk the hands forward to a comfortable position. Honor any feeling of restriction in your body. Allow your breath to open your body from the inside out. Walk the hands back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, twist left. Soften the eyes and face. Rhythmic, smooth breath. Twisting and breathing in this way helps squeeze toxins from the internal organs that are then released from the body through the skin and breath. Exhale, turn to center. Inhale. Exhale, twist right. Feel the breath in the back body as you breathe and twist. Twists also help to release tension from the body while warming and toning the spinal muscles. Turn to center. Place the palms on the knees. Breathe and center your awareness. Turn to hands and knees. Place the hands firmly under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Inhale, exhale, curl the tailbone to the earth. Widen the back, relax the neck. Inhale, lift the tailbone, sink the spine into the body. Exhale, use abdominal muscles to expel the breath. Inhale the breath into the body. Exhale, round the back, relax the neck. 
come to a neutral spine. These movements will warm and tone the legs and hips. Inhale, stretch the right leg back. Exhale, draw the knee to chest, round the back. Inhale, stretch the leg back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, knee to chest. And release. Inhale, stretch the left leg back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, knee to chest. Release the left leg. Press back into child's pose to release the lower back and stretch the hips. If your head does not comfortably reach the floor, modify with a block as Veronica is showing. Breathe. Relax. Feel your body. Use your arms to press up. Come to standing or mountain pose. The feet should be a comfortable distance apart and parallel. Bring the palms together in front of the heart. Center your awareness. Inhale, bring the arms to the sides and overhead. Exhale, release the arms, palms together. Inhale, arms to the sides and overhead. Exhale, release the arms, bend your knees, fold at the hip. Bring the weight of your body into your heels, fingertips to the earth. Veronica is modifying by placing her hands on her knees. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and overhead. Exhale, release the arms to the sides, palms together. Inhale, arms to the sides and overhead. Exhale, release the arms, bend your knees, fold at the hip, fingertips to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and hold parallel to the earth. Weight in the heels, knees over the middle toes. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and overhead as the legs straighten. Exhale, release the arms, palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, arms to the sides and overhead. Exhale, release the arms, bend the knees, sink into your hips, weight in the heels. Inhale, vitality. Exhale, tension. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and hold. You may hold here or complete the pose by keeping the knees bent and taking the arms overhead. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms. Exhale, release the arms to the sides, palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, arms to the sides and overhead. Exhale, release the arms, bend the knees. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, lift the arms, open the chest. For tight shoulders, press the palms back and lift the chest as Veronica is showing. Release the arms. Inhale, arms to the sides and overhead. Exhale, release the arms, palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, arms to the sides and overhead. Exhale, release the arms, bend the knees, sink into your hips and heels. If you have tight hamstrings, use your block under your hands for standing forward bend. You may also use your hands against your shins. Very slowly, without force, begin to straighten your legs by lifting your tailbone upward rather than forcing your knees backward. As the tailbone lifts, relax the neck. 
In this pose, the release comes from the hips and hamstrings, never from the lower back. Provide yourself with enough support to protect yourself from overdoing. Stand firmly on your feet and legs. Breathe calmly. Bend your knees. Inhale, arms to the sides and overhead. Exhale, release the arms, palms together in front of the heart for mountain pose. Breathe evenly. Focus your awareness on the exhalation. Exhale as though releasing the breath through the soles of your feet. Quiet your mind. Relax your face, eyes, and forehead. Imagine that the top of your legs begin under your lower ribs. From there, stand firmly through your legs into the four corners of your feet. Spread your toes. Elongate your spine. Release the shoulders. Release the arms. Place the hands on the hips. Separate the feet a wide distance. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward from the hips. If your hamstrings are tight, use the brick under your hands. If you have some flexibility, use your hands against the shins. If you're more flexible, place the hands on the outer ankle or under the shoulders in line with the toes, elbows bent. Stand firmly through your legs and evenly into the four corners of your feet. Breathe. Inhale. As you exhale, walk around to the right for lunge pose. As you develop strength in your legs and flexibility in your hips and shoulders, bring your arms overhead. For tight hips, place the hands on a brick. Merrily is increasing flexibility by placing hands to earth. Marnie is working on building strength and balance. The front shin is always vertical, no matter which variation you're practicing. Feel the back leg strongly extended. Exhale. Bring the hands to the mat. Walk around to the second side. Use a modification that allows you stability in the pose and ease of breath. Front shin vertical. Back leg strong. Focus and quiet the mind as you breathe. Soften the eyes and forehead. Exhale, release the arms, turn to center. Walk the hands forward to a wide leg downward facing dog pose. Press your hands evenly into the earth and move your body back into your heels. If your hamstrings are tight, you'll use a brick under the hands. Keep the hips directly above the ankles and knees. Stand evenly into the legs and the four corners of the feet. This is an excellent way to stretch the legs, spine, and shoulders. 
Turning the body upside down also helps to rejuvenate the brain. Relax the neck, soften the face. Practice keeping the body strong and active while the mind observes the steady, even flow of breath. Exhale, walk the hands back under the shoulders. You may bend your knees or come up with straight legs. Slide the heels in, toes in, then step the feet together for mountain pose. Palms together in front of the heart. Strong legs connecting to earth, quiet mind, soft breath. Exhale, release the arms. Step the feet wide. Turn all the way to the right for brave warrior. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, bend the forward knee over the middle toe. The front shin is always vertical. The back leg stays strong as though reaching from under the ribs. Lift the back of your rib cage off of your waist. The body should feel stable and balanced between the two legs. The breath should move effortlessly through the body. Inhale and come up. Exhale, turn the left foot out, the right foot in. Turn all the way to the left. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, bend the knee over the middle toe. The hand should stay separated shoulders width until the palms can come together without the elbows bending. Think of opening the body from the core outward into the fingertips. The legs stay strong the feet rooted to earth. Focus your intention without hardening your mind. Easy, rhythmic breath. Inhale, come up. Turn both feet forward. Turn the right foot out, the left foot in. Inhale, bring the arms up halfway. Exhale, bend the right knee over the little toe side of the foot for proud warrior. Reach the legs into the spread of the feet. Reach the feet into the earth. Lengthen the spine. Keep the back leg strong and fully extended. Release the shoulder blades down the back. Lift the chest, elongate the neck. If comfortable, turn the head to look over the right hand. Feel the heat rising from the belly. Inhale, come up. Turn both feet forward. Turn the left foot out, the right foot in. Inhale, arms up halfway. Exhale, bend the left knee. You should be able to see your left big toe. This position of the knee over the little toe side of the foot and the vertical shin will help to protect the knee joint when it's bent. Proud Warrior helps to strengthen and balance the muscles and joints of the hips, legs, and buttocks. No matter what your level of participation, this is a difficult pose that requires your attention and helps to develop focus and discipline. Inhale and come up. Turn the feet forward, release the arms. Bring the heels together, toes together, step the feet together. 
palms together in front of the heart. Center yourself over your feet. Soften your eyes. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward from your hips. Bring your hands onto the support of the brick, your shins, your ankles, or the earth. Use enough support to rest comfortably in this pose. Inhale, bring the arms to the sides and come up, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, release the arms, palms together in front of the heart. Feel your breath. Feel your feet connected to the earth. Release the arms. Step the feet a wide distance for side stretch. Turn the right foot out, the left foot in. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, bend the right knee over the little toe side of the foot. Lengthen the right side body over the right thigh. Extend the left arm. The modifications are right elbow to right knee, left arm straight, or right hand to brick, nose in line with breastbone. In the full pose, the right hand is on the floor. The left arm is extended alongside the ear as the head turns upward. No matter which modification you use, your weight should be evenly distributed between the two legs. The breath is smooth and full. Inhale and come up. Release the arms. Turn the left foot out, the right foot in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Bend the left knee over the little toe side of the foot. Extend the left side body along the left thigh and come to the appropriate modification. Keep the body strong without creating tension. Extend the spine from the strength of the back leg Inhale, come up. Turn the feet forward. Release the arms. Turn the right foot out, the left foot in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale into triangle pose with straight legs. Use the brick in the high position in the low position or bring your hand to the floor outside your foot. Feel the extension of the back leg. Stability and spinal extension are enhanced by the connection of the back foot to earth. Inhale and come up. Turn the left foot out, right foot in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release into triangle pose to the left. Keep your torso moving directly over your left thigh, the top of your head extending beyond the little toe side of your foot. In triangle pose, there's a deep opening of the forward hip 
and length in the hamstrings. Inhale, come up. Turn the feet forward, release the arms. Bring the heels together, toes together. Step the feet together for mountain pose. Feel your center. Reach through your legs and feet. Breathe. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward from the hips into standing forward bend. Use the appropriate modification. Keep the legs strong. Release the spine. Soften the neck. Inhale, bring the arms to the sides and reach overhead. Exhale, release the arms, palms together in front of the heart. Soften the body without collapsing the body. Release the arms and turn to the right for extended leg stretch. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn the thumbs toward the floor and bring the arms behind the back, palms together. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward from the hips. For tight shoulders, use one of the following arm modifications. Hands to hips, elbows squeeze back, or hands to elbows. Keep the spine long as you extend over the straight front leg. Keep the back leg firmly rooted to earth for stability. Inhale, come up. Release the arms. Turn to the left side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring your arms into the appropriate modification. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward from the hips. Lift the elbows to open the chest. Think of lengthening the spine evenly from the belly into the collarbones and from the belly into the pubis. Press into the back foot as you inhale and come up. Release the arms. Turn the feet forward, hands to hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward into wide leg forward bend. Place the hands on a block or hands to earth. Inhale, twist to the right, extending the right arm. Lengthen the tailbone back, the top of the head forward. Feel the width of the torso as you inhale, a gentle twist as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release the right arm. Inhale. Turn left, lift the left arm. Reach down through the right arm. Using the block allows you to achieve a deeper twist. Widen the chest and back. 
exhale, release the left arm. Hands to hips. Inhale, come up. Move the heels together, toes together. Step the feet together for mountain pose. Palms together in front of the heart. As you breathe, exhale downward through the soles of your feet. Soften the eyes and face. Release the arms. Come to the ground for hero's pose. If you cannot sit comfortably on your feet, sit on the width of a brick as Veronica is. Palms to thighs. Release the shoulder blades down the back. Elongate the spine. Sink the tailbone into the earth. Soften the face and breathe. Exhale, fold forward to child's pose. If your head does not come to the floor comfortably, rest it on the width of a brick. Rest easily with the arms stretched forward or back. Relax your mind and body. Release any tension with your exhalation. Soften and sink your hips into your heels, your head to earth. From child's pose, use your arms to press up. Lay on your belly, forehead down, palms up. Inhale. As you exhale, stretch the fingertips toward the toes. Press the arms up. Lift the chest. This locus variation helps to strengthen the middle and upper back for better posture. Allow the head to follow the arc of the spine. Continue breathing evenly. Exhale, release the arms and come down. Inhale. Exhale, press up. Pressing the arms up will help to tone the back of the arms and open the chest for better breathing. Connect to your breath and find ease in the pose. Exhale, come down. Use your hands to press up and turn over for bridge pose. Knees are bent, shins vertical, palms turned up. Press your feet evenly into the earth. You will feel the back of your thigh and buttocks muscles firm. Press the back of your arms, lift your chest. Your shoulder blades should move down your back. Never turn your head in bridge pose. Breathe. Exhale, release from the top of your spine to the bottom, touching each vertebra to earth. Inhale. Exhale, press evenly into the earth with your arms and your feet. 
To complete bridge pose, bring your palms together behind your back. One at a time, move your shoulder blades down your back. Press the entire length of your arms into the earth as you evenly press your feet. Feel the tone of the inner thighs as you lift. The weight should be on the shoulders, arms, and feet. The neck should feel soft. The breath even. Release the arms. Exhale, slowly roll down from the top of the spine to the bottom. Extend the legs one at a time. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, bring the right knee to chest, clasping the hands over the shin or behind the knee. Inhale. Exhale, use your abdominal muscles. Roll up. Move the shoulder blades away from the ears and elongate the neck. Keep the left leg moving down into the earth. Inhale. Exhale, release the spine, release the leg. Inhale, exhale, left knee to chest. As you roll up, feel your abdominal muscles firm. Soften the neck and face. Shoulders away from the ears, right leg to earth. Breathe. Exhale, release the spine, release the leg. Breathe. Exhale, step the feet in to a vertical shin. Inhale, exhale, roll up to a modified boat pose. Stretch the arms toward the toes to draw the shoulders away from the ears. As you hold the pose, firm the muscles of the abdomen. Keep the internal organs soft with breath. Soften the face and eyes. Exhale slowly with control. Roll down. Extend the legs one at a time. Breathe. Place the hands on the lower abdomen. To tone the lower abdomen, step the feet in one at a time, or as you become stronger, slide them in. Lift the shins to a horizontal position. Keep the knees over the hip sockets. With your hands, feel the tone of your lower abdominal muscles. Step one leg at a time or slide both feet out to straight legs. Inhale, exhale, step or slide into vertical shins, knees over the hips. Think of isolating the muscles under your hands to support the position of your legs. Breathe, relax the upper body, exhale, Step or slide out to straight legs. Inhale. Exhale, step or slide the legs in. Release the arms to the sides. Bring the knees in closer to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, twist the hips to the right. Allow the legs and feet to come to the ground. Turn the chest to the left. Full, complete breath. Inhale. Exhale. Firm the abdominals as you bring the legs to center. Inhale. Exhale. Release the legs to the left. Feel the twist that occurs at the waist as the hips move to the left, the torso to the right.
Exhale. Firm the abdominal muscles to bring the legs back to center. Bring the knees to chest. Place the hands over the shins or behind the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Roll up. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale. Release the spine. Come to a seated position with both legs to the left. Place the hands behind you. Inhale. Lift the chest. Exhale. Take the left hand across the right knee. Twist right. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, twist. Become aware of your internal organs as you breathe and twist. Among many benefits, twisting postures help to stimulate and aid digestion. Exhale, turn to center. Extend both legs to staff pose. Exhale, take both legs to the right. Hands behind. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, right hand across left leg. Twist left. Think of the spine spiraling upward from the tailbone through the top of the head, toning and balancing the entire core of the body as you breathe. Exhale, turn back to center. Extend the legs. Sitting on a folded blanket will assist those with tight hamstrings in the following seated poses. Pull the sit bones back to sit upright on your pelvis. Place the hands behind you. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step the right foot in. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, twist right, bringing the left arm around the right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Reach through the heel of your left straight leg. Exhale, turn to center. Inhale, exhale, step the left foot in. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, twist left, bringing the right arm across the left knee. Be aware of your body from the extension of your right leg and heel through the turn of your torso and out through the top of your head. Breathe. Exhale, turn to center. For those with tight hips and hamstrings, place a strap around your feet. Pull the sit bones back to sit upright on the pelvis. Come forward comfortably. Give yourself enough strap to feel the stretch in the back of the legs with no strain on the back. Press evenly through the legs into the four corners of the feet. If you have the flexibility, Come forward from the hip into a deeper seated forward bend. Breathe into the back body. Use the arms to press up to sitting. 
In relaxation pose, it is most important to feel comfortable. You may use a thinly folded blanket under your head, or you may roll a blanket and place it comfortably, running the length of your spine from your lower back and supporting your head. You may also place a rolled blanket under your knees. Adjust your shoulder blades to release down your back and wide. Relax. Breathe. Let your body sink into the earth beneath you. Feel the satisfaction of nurturing and caring for yourself that yoga provides. Stay in relaxation pose for as long as you'd like. Namaste.